Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I was hovering on Twitter when I saw Raijinx tweet this. The tweet is about them implementing local wireless multiplayer support over the internet. And you can grab the preview build for free on their Patreon. They added this link as well. So if you go to their Patreon or just directly from the link, there will be a post from August 25th which for me is yesterday, uh, for you it might be two days ago. And uh, yeah, they added a link with a guide. So if you don't understand this guide for some reason, you can always click on the link for their text guide. And uh, yeah, you can read all about it in here. And on the bottom, you'll have two links. The first one is for Linux OS. Second one is for Windows OS. So in my case, I'm going to get that one. So you just click on it and it will download it for you. Now in this video, I'm actually doing a collab with the YouTuber TechDunk. He also makes emulation videos. He's very talented and recently he almost got his channel taken down by Nintendo for, you know, Nintendo reasons. So I'd appreciate it if you would go to his channel and show him some support. I'm pretty sure the pinned comment will be his comment. So yeah. Subscribe, like, and let's get right into the video. All right, so after you get that build, it might be a zip file. If so, you have to unpack it. And uh, yeah, that's basically all. After that, you go into publish, scroll down until you see raijinx.exe, and you just double click it. I'm not gonna show you the whole way of starting with Raijinx. I already made a guide for Animal Crossing, which is the game we're gonna test today as well. And uh, yeah, so check that out if you want to play games on Riot Jinx. It should work with not only Animal Crossing, so check out that guide. The link will be in the description. But yeah, when you're in Riot Jinx, go to Options and go to Settings. And in here you'll have a Multiplayer tab. And the mode should be disabled by default, I'm not sure. But that should be on Riot Jinx LDN mode. You don't need to disable P2P network, only if you have a really old router or it doesn't work, then you can try it. But otherwise, I would not touch that. Now your username can be whatever you want. And network passphrase, uh, if you don't have anything here, basically it's public. So everybody can join your games. You can join everybody's games. And uh, you can also generate a random one, but there's a high chance other people also generated that one. So yeah, as you can see here, uh, under some games, it already shows hosted games to online players 4. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to test Mario Kart 8. I'm going to test Animal Crossing New Horizons with Tag Dunk. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so now if you and your friends are at the same game version, you can basically open up a party like normal. So for Animal Crossing, you need to go to the little airport at the bottom and then host your party. Alright, so now Game of Bros should be able to join. Let's see. I want to fly. Local play. Wait, now there's multiple. <laughs> there's multiple islands. <laughs> oh, those are for other peoples. Everyone who is public can join the same uh, parties. Alright, I'm uh, going to your island. Blah. I see it. TP Island. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it does change the time to your time. Oh, really? Like for me as well. Alright, so as you can see, we are both here right now on the island. And it actually works pretty great. We are pretty epic. It works, it works indeed. So yeah, anyways, like, subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. And make sure to subscribe to Tech Dunk as well. Comment down below if you want to see more collabs and what type of videos you would want to see. And uh, yeah, that's all for me, guys. Peace the hell out. Peace. Also, join my Discord server, please. Thank you.